He's right, isn't he, in a way, in saying that the bog standard school is leaving England? I think so. I personally, I think that the creation of numerous academies and a fairly large number of free schools has made a big difference. It, mm. it depends on whether you think competition drives up standards or whether you think it doesn't. And personally, I think it does. The, the great problem we've had in the last 30 years is that we've had 25 or 30 percent of pupils, usually from disadvantaged backgrounds, going to schools where they just have not achieved their potential. And that couldn't have been solved under the state system with local authorities in the driving seat, if not directly controlling schools in quite the way they used to. And that's, and his introduction of free schools and academies has, I think, transformed the situation. And to that extent, it's a reasonable inference. Fiona Miller, what do you make of the fact that he seemed to take the independent sector as the benchmark, the desirable benchmark? Well, he always does that. I mean, I thought his speech today was a little bit bonkers, if you don't mind me saying so. I mean, to talk about state schools introducing lines, bringing in common entrance tests, but more importantly... Well, he there's talked no reason to, why they couldn't if he they talked wanted a lot, to. Well, why would they want to? But he talked a lot well, about things that state schools are already doing as if they weren't doing it, which is part of the course with Michael Gove, because he likes to, to set up these sort of straw men, doesn't he? The sort of trendy, progressive yeah. state schools not doing rigour, not doing... Duke of Edinburgh's not doing debating. In fact, all these things are going on in state schools all the time, and parents know that full well. It's, it's a false dichotomy. He talks yeah. about state schools and independent schools, where really should be talking about good schools and schools that are not yet good. And it's the responsibility of the good schools to make the not yet good schools good. And the state of independent is, is irrelevant. Yeah. It's about knowledge and experience in schools being shared with the schools where that's not yet fully embedded. And that's what is happening in London. That's what London Challenge achieved. And that's why London schools are so, are so, are, you know, so successful nowadays. Because they've had a lot more money. And they've had a lot more focus, a lot more attention. And what needs to happen now is, is the same... Do you think the speech wasn't bonkers? I, as I said afterwards, because it was, it was my school where he gave it, I said afterwards, like a very good lesson, uh, Michael, you gave us some things we've heard before, some things we haven't heard, and lots of things to go away and think about. Um, I, there are some aspects in it. I, having come from the independent sector, I think the school where I used to work, Highgate School, I think one of the most sensible things it did was get rid of the common entrance. I think it's very interesting because he was, when the, uh, there used to be a test at 14, didn't there, which was got done away with because it, three, sir, it yeah. all turned into a complete shambles. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I th seem to recall that he was actually rather in favour of getting rid of it. Well, I can't remember. I think it was Ed Balls who got rid of it. I think the yeah. point about Michael Gove is his, his, the language he uses and the way he speaks is increasingly detached from what actually goes on in real schools. And I think he's alienating a lot of heads and teachers who are working very hard to do all the things you talk about mm. by demonising them presenting them as, as this sort of mythical blob which doesn't really exist apart from in the minds of the Daily yeah, Telegraph. We'll, we'll come to the blob in a minute or two, but what about some of these other proposals that there be lines, for example, given and other forms of punishment in schools? To I think the way to look at this is, is, is like this, that the, the big structural changes have happened, there's now these free schools and academies, and the next stage is to go on to, which I think is partly what you, you were saying, Robert, is what, what, what makes for a good school? What should schools be doing? And so what he is saying is, there's been this problem of discipline in recent years, and he's saying, let me make it clear that there is more you can do. I didn't think it was in the least bit bonkers. Uh, and he was, uh, he was saying that, for example, he, he will know perfectly well that if you look at the international study, the PISA study, it tries to work out uh, what makes the difference between an independent, independently managed school, why they do better than the, than the state schools. And one of the things is they just put in more time. So he's saying, let me make it clear you can put in more time. All right, let's, so let's, let's, let's talk to the <laughs> point that Fiona raised a minute ago, and he refers to the blob. Just explain what the blob is. Well, I don't know what the blob is. I mean, it's a creation Does anybody know what the blob is? and the Daily Telegraph yeah, it means leader writers, I think. It's just a way of referring to the inertia in a system. And so for the last 30-odd years, there's been this tremendous focus on what has sometimes been called progressive, sometimes child-centred, sometimes child-led education, and it has dragged down standards. Do you think Fiona's and part of the blob? Yes, she is. I'm yeah. a journalist. Uh, a lot of, there's a lot of no, blobby you're, journalists. You're, that you're, is a, the you're a chairman of governors and, uh, and you're also uh, an activist in the local schools network. And so, and any, anyone who criticises child-centred education is, it, seems to make a rather big also mistake. That, that's, that's, education should be centred on no, the children. No, no, it's child-led, isn't it? That's the point. That, child-led or teacher-led. The really important thing is this. But there's another false dichotomy. Look, you, one of the things <laughs> that we've encountered is Ofsted inspections, often inspectors going around, criticise, giving a school outstanding for achievement and then giving them good for teaching quality because they were too didactic. Because 
But that's a separate too issue. We're talking about it's, the way Michael that's, goes that's, deals that's with people the, who work no, in the front line, the not professionals the in issue. education. That's what the blob is. About, it's because the, t the inspectors are, are enforcing doctrines that do not work David, for children from disadvantaged teachers backgrounds. And there are head teachers. This is these are the people that run our schools and make them work well. We want to encourage them to do better if they're not doing well enough and celebrate the ones that are doing well. The way yeah. Michael Gove approaches this is to demonise everybody who works in the state we system and say that. that everybody in the private system is, is no, doing absolutely that's, brilliantly. That's and we need to switch the re rhetoric no. and focus more on support and collaboration he, and all the things you've talked about. To do in, is in to do you feel you're part of the blob? No, I don't. You know what the blob is, though, don't you? Oh, it's some construct put together by, by the media, isn't exactly. it, really? I mean, in the, in the same you way... You don't that recognise that there is an orthodoxy in academic circles about what teaching ought to be, what its style ought to be, what its methodology ought to be. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. don't, think, I don't think that's true. I mean, I think that might have been true ten years ago, but I don't think that's ah. true now. But also the other... I mean, it's just my, so my officer, yeah. I mean, only last week, Michael Wilshaw sort of published an open letter to the inspector saying, stop saying that mm. the lesson was bad because there was too much uh, teacher talk, or the lesson was bad because well, there wasn't enough... Why do you need to do that? He needed to do that because it was the problem. But the point being, the chief inspector is saying, it's, it's the, 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 the most important thing about a lesson, which seems fairly obvious, is whether the children learn something or not, whether the children make progress. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the method, and sometimes that'll be through teacher talk, and sometimes that'll be through independent learning, and sometimes it'll be through group work, and sometimes it'll be through some other method. But what matters at the end of each lesson is do the children walk out of the room knowing more than when they walked into the but room? Can I just say, the, the other sort of part of the madness of Michael Gove is he talks the language of autonomy and wants everybody to, to be free, and then he spend, does nothing but tell people how to do their job. So now he's telling them how to discipline yeah. their well, children, he's telling them how to teach them. Do you, you yes, really think there's no problem? With, with teachers, yes, yeah. I've said, I, of course many schools do need to get better, I fully accept mm. that. Uh, but the question as is... As our elected it, it, representative, isn't his job to well, try he, to make things better I'm making the point that us. he says he wants to give power to heads and to teachers to decide how they run their schools. Well, let's let them do it. They don't need to be lectured by, by him about how to instill discipline in their pupils or how, to, how exactly to teach a lesson. Mm. If he wants autonomy, let's let's... I think, I think David's David point is absolutely you'll be, you'll crucial. Be, you'll be backed centrally, isn't he? That's what he's doing. David's point is very, is very He wants to control it all centrally. He, he, he wants to. No, he's, he's making it clear that from, from Whitehall, there will be backing for teachers who for use these methods. What are we trying to do? And uh, th some, of the, some of the things that have been talked about today in the speech sound like education hasn't developed a new purpose apart from preparing people to go and work in clerical jobs which no longer exist. I mean, the, the, the good schools, the best schools now, are teaching, as well as knowledge, you know, the, the skills of creativity, of, of independent thinking. Mm. I mean, Piaget says that people who are intelligent uh, know what to do when they don't know what to do. And that surely is what schools should be doing. And that's exactly what people like Guy Claxton and Dylan Williams are talking about all the time. And, and if that we seem to be sort of get, have come back to these conversations again and again about methods of teaching, and we don't talk about what the purpose mm. of teaching is. Well, those are the discredited is. doctrines, aren't they? Piaget, for example, is the discredited child. I think this is getting slightly recondite yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> well, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>